Well, it's been very well received. We've had lots of positive comments about it. We've had two earthquakes since, one in Kaikoura and one in Wellington, and a series in Wellington. A lot of the problems in Wellington are absolutely spot on to what we've actually identified as how you prepare and how you're going to cope with the problems. So, and I know that the, the, everyone has actually thought, well, actually I do have at least a template to look back to see, if, not, if nothing else to affirm, that what we're going through is exactly what Christchurch went through. So I, I think it's having a really big effect. And it's a template for any natural disaster that comes along. Well, we collect the stories. The stories were very um, wide-ranging stories. And then we had them transcribed. And then we set about analysing all the data and putting it into various themes. And the themes were, um, again, very wide. Things like disruption to offices, technology, disruption to IT, human capital and stress, having to make rapid decision making, um, communication, the courts. And to be fair, I thought the, we were very grateful for everyone being so frank. And um, there were some quite emotive sessions that we had with them. So it was a very worthwhile exercise. And we managed to, from all those interviews, we managed to create a set of templates that could be useful um, to other people. Well, my brief was to go and visit the, everyone in California, which was fascinating. Um, they've had major earthquakes and they could tell us lots that we needed to learn. One of the most, probably most important thing is that it would take us 10 years to recover. And so I've had that in my head ever since, which is, which is great. And I can talk to people when they complain about lack of progress. And I was shown all sorts of things in the one particular emergency centre, which is all set up with a huge room, able to access a huge range of population around around the big cities, and one of them was set up to give a hundred language to give out some information, emergency information, in a hundred different languages, which was fairly amazing. So the research overseas, and Jeremy did flooding in Queensland. He came. We also came across some of the things that could help us, so that research overseas was very important. We've just launched. We've just launched it. Uh, one, what were the key findings? The key findings were that cross leases after an earthquake are very difficult to cope with. So our reform idea is for that is to get rid of them and convert them either into fee simple titles or to unit titles, so that was a major recommendation we made. One of the researchers, Jacinta Ruru in Dunedin, did Papakai in her land. She had um, several recommendations about that, which were really important. The Unit Titles Act, we decided is robust in itself, but definitely needs to be reformed in various areas to make it more um, practicable if, if a natural disaster occurs and also retirement villages, again, reasonably robust um, strata legislation, but definitely there's some rooms for improvement. But the two things that we really highlighted as needing instant reform were abolition of cross leases and public cutting of land. <clears throat> well, it was absolutely fundamental. We wouldn't have been able to do the project without it. It's expensive. Everything we do was costing money, so it was lovely to have a budget to work with it and um, we would not have been able to do the project without it, so it's a fairly simple answer to that. <laughs>